G'day and welcome back to Duxilla Gaming and another FS22 mod review. Today we are reviewing the Hot Production Pallet Warehouse. This is available from the Hot Online Production guys and the link will be down below in the description. This is a PC and Mac only mod uh, so it will not be available for consoles. Okay, so what is it? So this is basically a warehousing option for your production pallets. Uh, there's two different versions, one for 3 million litres and the other for 6 million litres. So the one on the left is the 3 million, one on the right is the 6 million. Slightly different configuration. Um, the 3 million litre one has uh, loading on one side, offloading on the other, plus the, um, the uh, unload activation point, which is where the spanner is. And the 6 million litre one has um, offloading and, un and loading at the front. Uh, with the option to go inside the building and actually activate the um, unloading of the pallets. Anyway, um, so what we'll do is have a quick look in the store uh, and just see where we buy these. Now these are under construction and they're under silos. If we go to silos, we've got the two here. We have hot ink. So we have the production storage 3 million and that's it through there. Fully rotatable doesn't lock into any grid size or, or rotation and the larger unit as you can see there everything's out one front end side and then you've got a side access there but it's not really accessible um, you can actually load inside as well on this one um, which I'll show you in a second um, but really uh, there's not a lot of point doing that because you haven't got much of a way in there unless you're going to manually transfer it or if you've got a forklift in here and you're bringing a big um, cargo trailer in like the crone trailer or something for instance you could back that in um, you would have to back that into this one here so it doesn't automatically offload and then you could manually offload it with the forklift and bring it all over to here that's where it gets added into the system or you could also utilize the, the shelving I guess and just use the floor space but anyway that's um that's an aside to what the actual unit provides us so what we're going to do is I'm going to bring the HUD back up so we can actually see uh, what's actually inside the units. And there we go. So as you can see here, we've got flour, canola oil, wool, chocolate, raisins, tomatoes, clothes, sugar, furniture, all that sort of stuff in this one here. Uh, but I'm going to go over here. I'm going to show you how it all works with the smaller one here um, just because it's a bit easier. And we've got things over here set up. So in this one, we've got all that. So we've got wool, planks, olive oil. One of the good things about this one is when you do then go to menu and you do go and have a look at your prices, your stock level will actually show what's in these warehouses as well. So down through here, cake, butter, cheese, fabric, this is all in our warehouse. So it does give you a good live view of exactly what you've got. So if you've been storing your strawberries or your lettuce or your whatever um, at your display places or your products, production places, you can get the, the storage from here. Uh, however, you can't see what you've got alive other than that. So that's what you do there. Anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, and this is our offload point. So this is where we bring our truck or trailer or whatever in, and it will automatically offload as it does on the production points. Uh, and then you can manually put stuff in as well. As I press the wrong button. Um, so all these all these things will go in here without any issue whatsoever. And I'm just going to grab the JCB over here. And I've got a selection of eggs. Now, I do want to show, I don't think I've added eggs in the other one as yet. Let me just show what's going to happen here. So, uh, have we got eggs? Uh, where are our eggs? Up the top, weren't they? Right, so at the moment we've got no eggs at all, okay? So there's no eggs showing as being stored. Now that includes both those warehouses. Now, like the production points, if I just drive in here, it will automatically begin offloading. And then if I go back in my menu here, you can see the eggs starting to accrue and the eggs are actually in the system. Offloading. And there we go. So there we go. 14,000 liters of eggs have now been loaded into the warehouse. And that works really, really well. So if I just point in how these ones go, I'll do exactly the same thing. I'll just grab these. Nice and quickly. I'll just show you that they actually go in as well without any issues whatsoever. But this is a fantastic way of storing all your production facilities. 
Um, I'm using it now all the time. I think it's it's great. You don't have to worry about transporting it out and selling it straight away or anything else like that. You can just take it to your warehouse, stick it there, and you know you've got it. Then when you when the high sell time comes up, you can just take it to the to the sell point and sell it. Or alternatively, you can then take it to where you need it in your production chain. And uh, as you can see, we've got all that in there. Now, one word of caution. There is a bit of a bug with this from Giants. Um, now, basically, if you take a 1,000 litre pallet of, say, so you look, for instance, there at the cake, we've had 2,000 litres we brought in. It drops one off. There's a bit of a, it seems to be right at the end of, of um, sorry, right at the end of actually loading it into the unit, it drops the last one off. And as you can see, the bread is one short. Cheese is one short. Fabric is one short. Um, it seems to have uh, a common problem of doing that occasionally. And it doesn't do it all the time. Um, but operationally, I think losing one unit uh, isn't really going to make that big of a difference for us. So um, while there is a little bit of a bug there, it's not a game-breaking bug and it's not going to impact you too much. Okay, so that's what we do to get everything in. How do we get everything out? Well, if we come over here, get our little spanner here, and we activate. Okay, so we can now activate what we want to get out. Now, we can pull anything out we like. It's in the storage. I'm going to go back to my eggs. Uh, where are we? Eggs, there we go. Right, now, when we press OK, it then gives us the option to choose the amount to pull out. Now, I can pull out one pallet, two pallets, over the other way, ten pallets. So there's a maximum of ten pallets sitting in this unit here. If I press OK, it'll bring out the 10 pallets, okay? Similarly, if I want to do the same with something else, say wool, I press OK. I've only got six pallets in there. I press OK, it'll output all six pallets. Now, it will output, output pa, 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 sorry, um, output up to three rows, although it does get a bit messy sometimes, but um, it will only output a certain amount. And if you try and put out, say, for instance, 32 pallets, it'll only put out uh, I think it's 18 or 19 generally to put out. And then you go back and tell them to put more out and then all tickety-boo and done. But um, you just come along, collect everything up, and then you're all good to go again. But yeah, that's uh, that's it for the pallet warehouse. The 3 million litre and the 6, 000, 6 million litre, I should say, uh, options. Again, they're available from the hot online uh, file base. I will leave a link in the description down below. You do have to sign up uh, to get it from there but uh, I do strongly recommend for those that are playing a lot with production and like to store it up for, for best sales or whatever else uh, these are fantastic units that are known to work and uh, they don't look too bad at all either. So um, yeah that's it. Hope you enjoyed the mod review. If you did press that like button and of course we'll see you again very very soon back here at Ducks Little Gaming and Farming Simulator 22 mod reviews. See you all later. Bye.